Hi, Yoda. Ah, uh, greetings, young one. Seek guidance, you do. Share your troubles with Yoda, you may. Speak your mind, hmm. How can I get her back? To regain her trust, sincere apologies and actions of change are the path. Understand her perspective, show growth in your ways, and with patience and care, the bond may heal. In this video, we will build an AI assistant that talks like Yoda. We'll combine MemGPT and Eleven Labs to create an intelligent agent with unlimited memory, ensuring it remembers everything from previous conversations. To add an entertaining twist, we've used a cloned Yoda voice from Eleven Labs. Do or do not. There is no try. In the last videos, we've already talked about how to add short-term memory to language models. But what if we want to store the conversation over multiple sessions with unlimited memory? That's where MemGPT comes into play. It's like having a supercharged memory for your chatbot, making it smarter and more helpful over time. Let's briefly explain some key concepts. Regular GPT models can process and respond to text, but they don't remember past interactions. LLMs can handle only a few dozen back and forth messages before reaching their maximum input length. The context length varies between different LLMs. For example, GPT-4 has a limit of 4,000 tokens, while Claude can handle over 100,000 tokens. However, in multi-session chats, these context windows are often exceeded limiting the ability to create conversational agents that can remember, reflect, and evolve dynamically over long-term interactions. How can MemGPT provide an infinite context? The trick is that MemGPT can provide an infinite context by writing data to persistent memory. When it receives a system alert about limited context space, MemGPT transfers relevant information to long-term storage. In later conversations, MemGPT can search this out-of-context data to bring relevant information back into the current context window. Additionally, MemGPT incorporates the concepts of agents, personas, and humans to create the illusion of a conversation with a real partner who learns and adapts over time. Agents are like the brains of MemGPT. They handle the conversations and use the memory to keep track of what's been said. Personas are different characters or roles that the agent can take on. For example, you might have a persona for a friendly assistant, a knowledgeable teacher, or a helpful coach. Humans are the users interacting with MemGPT. Each human can have their own profile, so the system remembers individual preferences and past interactions. Enough theory. Let's see if we can build our MemGPT Yoda from scratch in the next five minutes. We start by installing MemGPT first. After the installation, we run MemGPT configure. As a provider, we choose OpenAI. Here we need our OpenAI key again. We can obtain this key from the OpenAI website. We copy it and paste it accordingly. As a model, we select GPT 3.5 Turbo. We want Chroma as the vector store, and we want the data to be stored persistently. Next, we want to check if MemGPT is running correctly. We start it with MemGPT run. We say a friendly hi. And we are greeted back, but the name is wrong. I'm not Chad. Let's tell the agent that I'm Sebastian. And we ask the agent to tell a joke. And there it is. Good, that looks fine so far. We can now ask if it remembers our name. It does, and with exit, we can end a chat accordingly. Our goal is to create a MemGPT server and client. The first thing we use for this is a MemGPT user. For this, we create a new Python file named createUserPI. Let's paste the prepared code for this. In the code, we use an admin user to connect with the server and create a new user. For this, we need to set the base URL and a token for authentication. After creating the user, we output its ID and the API key. All right, let's now start a new MemGPT server. After starting the server, we see the admin token that we need in our script. We can now run the script to create a new user. And it runs successfully. And we see that we are given both a user ID and an API key for the user. Now we have everything to create a new agent. Let's create a new file, create agent. 
First, we create a client with which we can contact the server. We need the URL of the server, in this case, localhost 8283, and we need the token of the new user so he can authenticate. We simply copy this from the console. Next, we create a new agent named Yoda with the persona of Yoda from Star Wars. And he responds in the style of Yoda, ideally with original quotes from the film. Then we output the ID of the new agent as we need it in the next step. All right, let's execute the script. And everything works, and we successfully see the ID of our new Yoda agent. Now we can actually create our Yoda script. We copy the first part from our create agent script and reuse it here. On our client, we call the method user message with the corresponding ID of the agent we just created. And a message we want to send to the agent. We start with a simple hi, then we output the client's response. Let's try it out. And we see that we receive a corresponding response greeted in the style of Yoda. We see that the response has a field internal monologue. We want to output this directly. So we check in the response if there is an assistant message or an internal monologue and output this directly. We no longer need to output the complete response. We rerun the script and see that the thoughts of our Yoda are clearly output. Now we put everything into a while loop so we can have a continuous dialogue. We want to capture the user's input with the input message and store it in the variable user input, then send it directly as a user message to the agent. If we rerun the script now, we can send multiple messages to the agent one after the other and maintain an ongoing dialogue. We can ask, how are you? And the response is again in the typical style of Yoda. Now we also want the responses to be spoken by Yoda as real, audible sound. For this, we create a new file, utils.pi, and insert the prepared code. First, we need to install the dependencies. These are 11 labs in Pygame. Then we can take a look at the code. First, we have an 11 labs client initialized with the corresponding API key. The key must be set as an environment variable. We have a say method that saves the past text as mp3 file using 11 labs. And this file is then actually played using the play audio method. Good. Now we can simply import the say method from the utils and call it with the corresponding outputs from the agent after our print statement. And if everything goes well, in addition to the console output, Yoda's voice should also be heard. Hello, my old friend. A warm greeting it is. Memories of friendship you speak. Friendship bonds strong they are. Hmm. A girlfriend you had. Hmm. Troubled times these are. Reflect on this loss we must. Difficult to see. Always in motion is the future. <laughs> 